Hi everyone, welcome to the summer term. Hope you've all had a lovely Easter break um, and maybe managed to enjoy um, a bit more time with family as we're now allowed to meet people outdoors. Um, I'm hoping, as I said just before Easter, that the lifting of restrictions will continue both in school um, and in life generally so that we'll be able to do more things this term. Um, but whether we do or not, it's lovely to be able to have everybody back after um, a holiday and I look forward to seeing and hearing all about the things that you are learning and the activities that you're involved in um, this term. And I'm going to start our collective worship today with a story. Um, so we'll, before we do that, we'll say our greeting, peace be with you. Okay, enjoy the story. The story I'm going to tell you is from the Bible and this version is a picture book. And as you can see, it's called The House on the Rock. Here is a man, he is looking for a place to build a house. He climbs to the top of a big grey rock. Ah, here is a good place. The man begins to build his house. It is hard work. He puffs and he pants. He puffs and pants and grunts and groans all day until the work is done. Just in time, he says, it looks like rain. The rain pours down. The lightning flashes, the thunder booms. The water washes round the house and splashes at the rocks. The rock stays firm. The man was wise to choose the rock. Here is another man. He wants a house. I want it now. I want it quick. This place will do, he says. He builds his house down on the sand. This won't take long, he says, and whistles as he works. His house is done. He goes inside and shuts the door. A raindrop drips onto his nose. Oh dear. The rain pours down, the lightning flashes, the thunder booms. The water rushes through the house and splashes at his knees. The sand is washed away, his house falls flat. The silly man was wrong to build on sand. Jesus says, I am like the wise man's rock. If you trust me, I will never let you down. You might have guessed from the story that we're thinking about wisdom this half term. And the man who rushed his house might have been actually very clever. He might have been a very intelligent person. But his choices, or his choice of where to build the house, was not very wise. Being clever or intelligent is about or more about remembering facts, um, knowing things, it's about knowledge. Um, but being wise is more about the choices you make with the knowledge that you have and it's about how you behave and how you treat people. So for instance, someone who chooses to go to nurture rather than um, let a problem escalate during break time is somebody who's making a wise choice. Someone who steps back from um, feeling very angry um, or distressed and gets help um, is making a wise choice. So th those are things that you can do in school to, to show that you're making wise choices. Um, somebody could be really clever and intelligent and know lots of things, but end up in retreat all the time because the choices that they're making are not wise ones um, and unfortunately we see that quite a bit so what we want you to do and want you to think about this half term are is being somebody who makes those wise choices in any situation but particularly when it comes to how you treat other people um, it's a wise thing to want to know more it's a good thing to be clever and know things and remember things. Um, it's a good thing to want to learn. That's a really wise choice. 
um, especially if it's about other people, other cultures, races, religions, if you know more about how other people work and what they think and what they believe, that can lead to a peaceful and harmonious place to be, a harmonious place to live. And we certainly want that for our school. We want our school to be a place of understanding and peace and wisdom. And that comes from knowing as much as you can about yourself and other people, but then using that knowledge to make wise choices to do the right thing. So applying that to school, this half term is something that the teachers really want to see you doing. Um, and we want to be able to celebrate, um, whether that's through stars or certificates or in any other way um, around school, people who are making those really wise choices. Um, we'll explore a lot of, of different things to do with wisdom this half term. Um, so it'd be great to come and have a chat with me and, and tell me a bit more about what you've been thinking and reflecting on to do with wisdom as the term goes along, that would be great. Um, I'm going to light a candle now um, to remind us, wherever we are, um, of God's presence because I'm going to say a, a short prayer. So I'm just lighting the candle because, well, one of the other reasons why I'm lighting the candle is that I'm recording this you see that candle there. I'm recording this um, on the day that the news has um, told us that the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, has died this morning. You might not to look, know a lot about Prince Philip, but he um, was the Queen's husband and they were married for over 70 years. And he, he, was, he died aged 99, having retired from public service at 96. So he worked in the service of, of our country um, for all those years and dedicated his, his life in the service of the country and in support of the Queen. So I'm lighting the candle to remind us of God's presence while we say a prayer and to think of Prince Philip and the royal family. Um, but I also want to, to think about that in the prayer that I say. So you can make the prayer your own, um, bow your head or close your eyes or just sit really quietly and then if you agree with the words of the prayer at the end, you can say Amen. Dear Father God, we thank you that we can be together in school again and we thank you for the life of Prince Philip and the royal family and their service over so many years. Um, we want to ask you to be with the royal family at this time but also with all those families including families at Howbridge Junior School who have lost loved ones recently um, and certainly due to the coronavirus. We ask you to be close to them at this time. We ask that you help us make wise choices this term and always um, in what we do in school and at home and particularly in how we treat other people. Help us to be the peacemakers with the choices that we make. We ask this in Jesus' name, Amen. So here's to a really successful, fun summer term. Um, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Take care of each other in school and at home. And um, I'll see you soon.